Alright, so when we're deciding to chamber a rifle in a particular cartridge, there's a lot of things that we need to think about. Um, how much it's going to cost to either reload or buy factory ammo to shoot in that cartridge, um, your purposes for that cartridge, and another big one is barrel life. How long is a barrel going to last um, for this particular cartridge? Barrels are expensive, especially custom chambered match barrels. They get really expensive really quick. And when you're burning barrels out, um, it gets real expensive uh, to continually swap barrels. <clears throat> so we want to know how long a barrel is going to last. I did a video a while back on barrel life. Um, one thing you need to know is barrel life is subjective to, <clears throat> to the shooter. So a barrel that is, I consider burned out, may not be burned out to other people. So in that video that I did on barrel life, I took a six millimeter, a completely burned out six millimeter Creedmoor barrel by all by all standards. Um, this thing had two inches of rifling missing out of the throat. Um, the barrel was completely shot out, and I still was able to shoot a three inch group at over 800 yards with that completely burned out barrel, but the amount of powder that it took for me to get the velocity that I needed to shoot that group was far beyond what a normal 6mm Creedmoor is going to be loaded with. So by all standards that barrel was completely shot out. <clears throat> so how do we determine how long a barrel is going to last? So there's a couple of things that really affect two main things that really affect um, barrel life. The first is going to be something, and, and the main thing, is going to be something called how overbore that cartridge is. Um, now, there's a formula <clears throat> that you can find, and I'll put it up on the screen, um, that you can find that, will, that you can use to determine a cartridge's overbore. So, what is overbore, okay? For, for example, a 308, which burns approximately 42 to 43 grains of powder through a .308 inch hole, um, is going to be far less, the barrel is going to wear far slower than, say, the 7 Psalm that I, you guys see me shoot that is a .284 diameter hole burning of over 60 grains of powder through it. So that is what overbore is, the amount of powder going through whatever diameter sized hole that the bore is. <clears throat> and that's what overbore is. So the formula that, is, that's, that you can find almost anywhere um, tells you to, that you, that to measure the milliliters of water that a certain case holds and divide that by, I think, the radius of the bore. So first off, you have to do that. You have to have a case to fill with water. So if you're deciding, if you're trying to decide what ca cartridge that you want to get into to um, determine, and one of the factors that you want to determine is how long the barrel is going to last, there's a good chance you're not going to already have brass for that cartridge because you haven't even bought the barrel for it yet. So, what do we do in that case where we still want to know how overbore a cartridge is, but we don't have brass that we can fill with water, measure the milliliters, do all that. So what I've always done, and I've found this works just as well, um, is I will take the amount of powder that I know that certain, whatever cartridge that I'm wanting to shoot, um, I'll take the amount of powder that I know that that case holds, so, and which is something you can find pretty much readily online anywhere. So if I say a six millimeter Creedmoor, I know that that case is gonna hold approximately 45 grains of powder um, filled all the way up of almost any powder. So I'm going to take 45 grains, or if I know the amount of powder that I plan to load something with, I'll use that. But so I'll take the 45 grains divided by 0.243, the diameter of the six millimeter bore, and compare that number to what other whatever other case that I'm thinking about chambering. 
and that is the formula that I use when I don't have a piece of brass that I can fill with water and go through the whole normal overbore formula. So that is one big thing, how overbore a cartridge is um, to is probably the main factor on barrel life. The uh, second factor and another really important one is the angle of the neck. So the neck of the case. So if a case has a neck that is <clears throat> that is a very sharp angle, you're going to be blasting powder onto the throat, which is the part of the barrel that wears. So the more powder you're blasting right there concentrated on the throat from a very sharp angle of a case, the faster that throat is going to wear, therefore the faster that barrel will burn out. Um, so that's why like you see the Ackley cartridges, what the Ackley's most, I'm pretty sure that's all the Ackley's are, is taking the the angle of a cartridge and making it a steeper angle to cause more pressure buildup as the powder leaves the case, um, making the bullet leave the leave the cartridge faster, but it is blasting, concentrating more powder on the throat of the rifle, which on the throat of the barrel, which is in turn burning that barrel out faster than a cartridge that is not Ackley improved. That, this is why 308, which is a cartridge that has a very low overbore number and has a very mild case, has a very mild angled uh, case neck, that's why that you can get 5,000 plus rounds of accurate fire out of a 308 barrel. So uh, these are the two things that really determine how a how long your barrel is going to last so you can these are if you're trying to decide you know what to chamber a rifle in and one of the big concerns for you is how long your barrel is going to last you can compare the overboard number using the formula that i the the way that i do it um or you if you have the brass you can do the actual overboard formula um and look at the angle of the neck. So if you have a very st steep angled neck and a cartridge that is heavily overbore, you can plan that that thing is not going to get very many rounds before the throat completely burns out. So I hope this helps. Um, if somebody, if you guys are looking to chamber a new rifle and trying to decide um, what kind of barrel life you might get, um, hopefully this helps. I'll see you guys next time. I'm out.